Welcome back to Must See Tech. As promised, today we continue covering the newest arrivals within the segment of off-road capable teardrop trailers. We have got even more classic-looking caravans with rugged tires, indestructible suspensions, and tough bodies that will take a beating without any complaints. So subscribe to our channel and let's explore some muddy campsites with the most beastly teardrops. Boonie Stomper In the sea of similar-looking teardrops, the Boonie Stomper is set apart by its extra-low weight of 670 pounds that allows it to be towed not only by regular cars, but also by UTVs and ATVs. Created by the Nevada-based Sunnyside Off-Road, this tiny teardrop camper comes with a serious suspension setup and an all-aluminum shell. The trailer's off-road potential is ensured by the custom-fabricated and dependent trailing arms load-adjusting shocks, and a pair of extremely grippy tires. Upon request, the latter can be optimized for either muddy or hard stony grounds. The basic interior is a bit modest with standard carpeted walls, linoleum floors, and several storage cabinets. However, if your vehicle is ready to take on more weight, the company offers a generous list of extra amenities. These include a 6-inch dual-density foam mattress, a roof rack, and three awning options. You can also go for one of two Jake portable power stations and add a lifesaver jerry can water purifier with 18.5 liters of water capacity. Campworks NS1 Camporks began as an environmental design project at the University of Colorado in 2017. Their first product is an off-road capable NS1 teardrop that has already gone through testing across American deserts and forests. The manufacturer calls this rig more than a camper, but rather a supercharged mobile off-road microgrid. The trailer carries 1840 watts of solar, 12 kilowatt hour of battery storage, and a 9 kW master volt inverter. The NS1 was built to go anywhere, which is a courtesy of a Timbran 3500HD axle suspension, steel underbody, and 31-inch off-road tires. Available color options include space gray, midnight black, and alpine white. The seamless composite body has 2 inches of insulation and ensures four-season usage with the help of a fully electrical climate control system. It is comprised of a 1500 BTU AC unit, a 1.5 kW resistive heater, and a tri-zone ventilation with exhaust fans for the optimal airflow. The living space is convertible, meaning that a queen-size bed can transform into a seating area with a table in moments. Lastly, the beautifully designed rear kitchen boasts a 9 feet of pull-out countertop, a 10K BTU dual induction cooktop, and plenty of storage. Vorshir XCT The brand new XCT weighs just under 2,000 pounds, so it would be a perfect fit for a variety of mid-size trucks and SUVs. 13 feet and 7 inches long, the XCT sits between the brand's XER and XOC models and becomes Vorshir's first trailer to feature an all-composite design. Its synthetic construction not only eases pressure on the environment, but also makes the XCT's shell extremely durable in the long run. Built for off-road enthusiasts, the steel drop is based on a high-strength steel frame, which is underpinned by Axelus independent suspension from Timbran, offering up to 19 inches of ground clearance. The standard off-road package includes 17-inch wheels, 33-inch all-terrain rubber, and 12-inch electric brakes. For the asking price, Vorshir packs the model with full lighting inside and out, a queen-size bed, a generous amenities package, and a complete kitchen with a two-burner stove, a stainless steel sink, and a 45-liter fridge. Outside, an extra-large 270-degree awning and an enclosed exterior shower are included as standard. Your support is the only thing that keeps us going, so make sure to give this video a like, watch till the end, and check out the first episode. The link will be in the description. Let's proceed. Zion Afroat 
Zion of Road is a Utahian manufacturer of caravans that claims to offer the only fully modular off-road tier drop trailer on the market. The Zion measures 12.9 feet in length, the body is made of aluminum-skinned birch plywood, while the frame is constructed from laser-cut steel. The floor, roof and front wall of the trailer are insulated with 1.5-inch foam to prolong trailer usage beyond warm seasons. The steer drop is equipped with a solid 3,500-pound axle suspended by leaf springs. The sand trailer rides on 27-inch tires mounted on 6-lug wheels, which gets you a generous 12 inches of ground clearance. The Zion F-Road features a 2-inch hitch receiver at the back, allowing for the attachment of gear racks and additional accessories. The base model comes wired with electrical hardware. It includes LED ceiling lights, side and rear outside lights, electrical sockets, solar and inverter hookups, and a shore power inlet. The Zion trailer offers an integrated T-track and pre-cut frame bolt holes, allowing for the easy installation of various pieces of gear. Bean Stalker Nearly all the trailers offered by the Utah-based Bean have some off-road capabilities, but today we'll be talking about the recently refreshed Bean Stalker. Advertised by the brand as their value-first explorer teardrop, it is underpinned by a heavy-duty powder-coated steel frame with a timbran axle suspension that can be optioned with a 2-inch lift. As standard, this Bean gets 17 inches of clearance, 15-inch steel wheels, Toyo Open County AT tires, rock sliders, and a one-piece fiberglass body that can survive an off-road beating. Inside you will find plenty of storage, plus a queen-size bed as standard. The Stalker's electric system consists of a 1kW pure sign inverter, a 100Ah AGM battery, 110V outlets, USB ports, and an optional light-leaf solar panel. Portable toilet is standard equipment, and same is true for the shower box with Geyer hot water system. Another huge advantage of this model is its galley kitchen with two water jugs, a modular sink rack, a 40-liter icicle fridge, single burner propane stove, plus a discata pen mounted on the side. Dewdrop Alpha Oregon trailers make it their business to produce off-road trailers. So if they're saying that the Dewdrop Alpha is the most capable teardrop in their lineup, that says a lot. The tiny shelter is underpinned by a tubular steel chassis and a 3.5K independent torsion suspension with separate compression and rebound. The aluminum shell is completely covered in industrial-grade alpha coating that can be ordered in multiple color options. Jeep-style fenders are wrapped around 29-inch off-road tires. Alpha's interior is made of natural marine-grade Baltic birch wood, and one can enter the cabin on both sides through 26 by 32-inch doors. Fresh air supply is ensured by the roof vent with a box screen. The steer drop can carry its own spare wheel, a rooftop tent, and a utility box on the tongue. The rear kitchen area is spartan but customization opportunities are all yours. Colorado Teardrop's Summit Pinnacle Camper Trailer To create their toughest offering, Colorado Teardrop's took the already off-road capable Summit model and boosted it with extra heavy-duty goodies. The Summit Pinnacle is equipped with Timbran Axela suspension rated for 3,500 pounds, while the individual wheel spindles can withstand up to 5,500 pounds. This ensures that even in the unlikely scenario of the trailer being tilted and the majority of the weight resting on a single wheel, it will still bear the load effectively. On top of that, the Pinnacle gets 33-inch all-terrain tires, 17-inch wheels, electric trailer brakes, steel weight-bearing fenders, and a powder-coated steel skid plate. The camera is built on a lightweight aluminum frame, featuring triple insulated walls and locking insulated doors. 
The pinnacle's interior is made of maple or hardwood laminates and can be fitted with a queen-sized mattress and two bunk beds. The rear hatch reveals a spacious kitchen in hickory hardwood. While the hatch doors open to create fold-out shelves, expanding the counter space. On the options list, Colorado Teardrops offers more LED lighting, an electrical package, a 270-degree awning, an exterior dining table, and an in-floor water storage.